Hello guys, today we are going to answer the questions Can we use AC off-grid on solar? If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Lucy Mark is inside a van I think Let me call him Mark! Hello Behind me that cute car is TV We are traveling all over the world with our DIY van Right now we are in Morocco during the summertime, crazy, huh? Uh, where we are right now is between Sust Masa National Park and Sahara Desert. We are staying in the paid campsite. The reason why I have to take care of immigration part. And in Morocco, it's quite hard to do it by yourself. And we got the information. This campsite owner, he knows how to do, how to deal with it. So this campsite is really, really huge. I can see that there's a tons of cars can park. I think 100, 100 cars can park and there's a good facility a hot water and there is a place that you can you know shower the pet too dog or cat <laughs> if your cat love to take a shower also this campsite is near the Susmasa National Park you can see the snake sometimes you can see the uh, tod and all the different kind of birds too all right let me set up the our portable AC so let me get ready for it. Open our filthy uh, desert dust. <laughs> Here is the our AC. This beautiful covers I did a hand sewing is from the our previous curtain in our van. Guys, I carried my little cute portable AC. This is Zero Breeze Mark II. It is 6.5 kilograms, so it's not that heavy I can carry wherever I go. There's three ways to power up the Zero Breeze. First one is there's a portable battery. It is underneath the Zero Breeze. So if you have that battery, you can use it five hours with this AC. There is a 220 volt, you know, constant here. So if you're from, you know, Korea, it's commonly used 220, but there's a 110 volt too, so you can power up through the uh, short power. This one is a 12 volt to the uh, 24 volt converter. If your battery is a 12 volt system, so you can use this one. So you can connect this yellow part here, and then you can use the 12 volt cigarette jack or socket there or if you want to uh, connect to the, your battery directly you can use this one you can wire up too but um, our case we have a 24 volt system in our van so we don't need this one so we are gonna cut here and wire it and we can connect to our battery hello there hello there you have a nice shirt thank you <laughs> okay mark will set up the uh, AC <laughs> We're actually going to put this up through this window here. You can see it's not quite long enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put two of these hoses together. And they kind of just screw in together. There we go. Alright, so we'll screw the other end into here. Right, should be good. Now Mark will set up the uh, hot air hose. So that like fresh air and air will be separated. The one is done. Uh. So people usually do the fancy version to close off the window. <laughs> but you know, we are not that fancy. We are gonna use our two fleece jacket. <laughs> so close it off around this area. Perfect! <laughs> perfect! It is perfect! Third step, now we need to power up the zero breeze. So we haven't set up the uh, other 20 volt uh, system yet, but I think it's better to use a 220 volt so that you guys can have more gas on the wattage and everything. So we are going to use this 220 to our battery using an inverter. So let's set it up. So now I'm gonna turn on the uh, our inverter. Okay, let me turn it up. Okay. 
Okay guys, uh, we turn on the AC and then we crank up to the max fan. So we are gonna see how the temperature will change. Right now our temperature is at 25.2 degrees Celsius. I'll just change it to 25 here. I have another little one here. So I'm gonna put this one and then we will check later how the temperature change, okay? Mark was shooting outside and he got on sun a lot and you can see nice yeah. better you can breathe now Woo. Woo. guys we're not gonna go outside and shoot because it's hot right now <laughs> temperature changed to the 21.9 actually it is supposed to be lower than that but I think it is the way we set up because like our pose is on the sun right now we didn't insulate I think we are gonna work it later but this feel good. How do you feel? It's it's really cold. Yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely air conditioned air. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. what I like about yeah. it. Also, you can set up the inside too. Yeah, yeah. You guys can set up the inside zero degrees to be inside, and then you can use it. But we tested before, and we prefer to set the uh, our zero degrees outside. Uh, when you have you have the opposite problem when uh -huh. it's inside. The hose from the uh, hot air vent goes out this window. Yeah. But that hose starts to really heat up. Yeah. So it's like a radiator yeah. inside your vent. If you can put the, your hose on the uh, kind of short directions, like maybe front uh, driver's seat window, but we prefer this window is perfect fit with our fleece jacket. We put the uh, zero breeze on the kitchen bench. Yeah, yeah. Because it takes out the, the moisture from the air. That moisture has to be released through this little valve on the bottom, mm -hmm. so that can drain directly into our sink. Yeah. So it's convenient. Yeah. Can we switch sides? Uh, I, I'm getting like... <laughs> 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 This is a really small air conditioner. It's much, much smaller than your your home air conditioner. But because of that, it uses way less power. Mm. So even right now, it fluctuates, but right now we're using about 178, between 160 to 190 watts. Mm. That's, uh, that's tiny. If your expectations are, you know, realistic for mm. a small, tiny, portable air conditioner, then I think this, air conditioner will, will just blow you away mm -hmm. it works amazingly mm -hmm. well it's cold and then you can carry so we have um, outside we have uh, 160 watt external solar panel and then on top we have 300 watts of solar but you never get the the actual that amount of solar normally like in this kind of condition it's, it's a little bit cloudy the Sun is in and out we generally probably average with both panels out about um, 180 to 220 watts in really ideal conditions we might get 300 watts with this array mm. so for today we definitely can just use the air conditioner off solar because it only uses between 160 to 180 90. 190 watts mm -hmm. and our solar brings in you know usually over 200 watts mm. so yeah that's plenty of wattage to power this air conditioner mm. but it depends on how much solar you have and the weather mm. and all these things but in general yes it's, it's easily possible mm -hmm. to power this air conditioner with uh, solar mm. so thumbs up yeah tabung, tabung, sebung, sebung, thumbs up <laughs> She really likes it, you can tell. Um, if you guys are interested in finding out more about Zero Breeze, we'll put the, the link in the description. We get no commission or, or anything like that, so just go ahead and check it out. We would like to thank Zero Breeze for sending us this unit. Um, it's something that we were actually... I was watching Zero Breeze from the GoFundMe. Yeah. <laughs> She told me about this company a long, long time, ago. time ago when we were doing the tent camping in Korea. But we're we're quite budget travelers, mm. so it wasn't something that we seriously considered purchasing. But they were nice enough to send us one. So. Yeah, even we are not <laughs> inside of Korea, we are not in U.S. They send us in Morocco. <laughs> yes. So thank you very much, Zero Yeah, thank you. Lucy's uh, got to go to court soon. <laughs> Immigration. And to the police station pretty soon. She's got a few things to take, take care of. We will update you on that situation probably in the next video, right? Yeah. Anyways. So exciting, huh? <laughs> Going to court, huh?
We'll see you in the next video. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.